Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Ian from Penny Glen Cabin Life. Today's topic is going to be the ups and downs of the first eight months on my new YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel obviously is this one, which is Penny Glen Cabin Life. Now, some of you know I've got an old YouTube channel called Penny Glen Gun Dogs. Uh, if you find that on YouTube and if you subscribe to that channel as well, really would appreciate it. Thumbs up, thank you. Uh, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy looking around the channel and you feel that you want to subscribe to help me channel Then if you press the subscribe button and ring the bell again, that will really help me channel grow It doesn't cost you a penny at all to subscribe All it means is that my subscriber level goes up which means I'll go on more people's walls and my channel moves forward more quickly So with your help and support I can achieve that so if you have the time, I'd appreciate it if you did press that subscribe button. Right, let's get into the video. Right. Uh, the time this morning is half past six. Uh, I feel a bit groggy, really, for half past six in the morning. It's not like me. I've been up for a good few hours. Positives of the channel is the first positive. It's giving me great motivation. Every video that I do, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy filming. I really do. And... I, I enjoy sitting down and thinking of the topics and what to do and and try and write down old jokes that I remember from the old days and everything to put onto the videos because I've had quite a few people ask me to keep putting a joke at the end. So um, so I used to know a lot of jokes and that. So like I say, I always say I used to be on stage and in the old days, which is very true, I always remember that um, if you did bad on stage, you used to throw fruit at you which is true, I can remember that happening to me. Uh, trouble is though, for me, the worst thing for it was uh, the fruit was still in the tins. So you like you're dodging all the time, all the tins. Ugh, not you said that. So, uh, no, joking aside. So, uh, the, the negatives of the channel, right, I'll tell you, I'm going to be honest now, negative wise. You can sometimes get, if you're not careful, a burnout. Right, and I've had a couple of burnouts where I put all my effort into the videos and it'll be where I get up first thing in the morning like now I'll do a video and then because I'm up so early more than usual I might get a couple of, up a couple of hours early I might get up like say half one, two o'clock rather than three, four o'clock I'm not kidding, I do uh, and then I'll be doing my dogs and doing all the other jobs and making the next video during the day and things like that then I'll finish everything I'll make my tea and that's a big process because you're the clean up and everything and I've got to keep in here clean light the fires and do everything like that and then by the time it gets to night time I'm then editing the video for the next day and then during the night it's uploading and things like that so sometimes if you're not careful you can get a burnout especially if if friends and family come to visit because you're you're like, you're doing catch up all the time then, if you know what I mean. So then few hours are really essential for you to do the filming. Then you're going out later on, you're filming, which is throwing the editing back till later on at night that you're doing, which means you're still getting up early, which means you're more tired as well. So, but I, that's the negative side. Uh, what other negative sides is that you get very tired a lot, like I say, with the burnout. And then sometimes you'll you'll just have a couple of days off because you're that that exhausted with doing the videos. But you know that's really the only downside. Really, I enjoy the editing. I use iMovie. I've got an iPad, so I'd use the iMovie. I enjoy that. Um, I've just found yesterday that when I went on it, they've just done an update on it. So so I enjoy that. Um, yeah, so I've enjoyed learning about these lenses with this camera. So it's a big game changer, this camera. I really do like this camera. I've bought myself a softbox, so that's why it's nice and bright in my face now. Uh, this is the first video with the softbox, so that came the other day. Um, he actually, when I bought it, there were two in the box, but I've not opened the other one. I've just got this one going. So... So that's about that. Uh, what else have I been doing? Uh, I've been doing quite a few jobs in here yesterday. 
potted about. I did my washing up, I got behind my washing up again. <laughs> don't you dare laugh. I can sometimes, I do it every day, but sometimes if I don't do it for a couple of days, it can build up. Obviously it can. So I, I last night I made a lovely spaghetti bolognese. That were really, really nice. I enjoyed that. Um, I've got some leftover. I've got today's worth leftovers. But what I'll do is I'll put fresh pasta on today. Uh, I don't like warming up pasta really. So so that's about that. Um, obviously I'm not I'm not going to be having any visitors because I'm I'm in lockdown and everything like that. So so I feel a bit isolated in a way more than what I would normally do. I've said before in the channel it's a strange feeling really because. Even though I don't really see anybody from one week to the next, I really don't. Back in mind, you're always thinking, oh, well, somebody will come and they might turn up because Ian and Patrick and a few others just turn up behind me and say, hey, up, Ian. And then you think, whoo, may he jump out your skin. Um, so, but with the lockdown happening and me having to self-isolate and things like that, um, then... It's a bit awkward really because back of your mind you're knowing nobody can come and then you kind of think to yourself well I really am on my own do you know what I mean? So it's a, I know it's a silly thing to come out with but that's the way it is. I don't know if you can hear the rain on the roof listen. Can you hear that? It's blowing a gale outside and it's raining very very heavy it really is. So if you could write in the comments uh, anything, any topics you want me to do on the channel, uh, anything like that. I was going to go through the interior of the kennel, uh, kennel, go through the interior of the cabin again because there's been a few changes with little things. So from the original video that I showed. Um, I've not done anything on the extension on the front. Uh, just because of the bad weather and being unwell because like I say I had a couple of epileptic fits again the other day so I've mentioned that on the channel but then fits I had then it makes my legs very wobbly for a good few days so I had to go up on the roof yesterday well I can't get on the roof but I had to measure the roof off so to order the tin for the roof go box profile roofing and uh, my legs seemed stable again so they weren't shaking at all so I felt quite confident with that but I don't think I'll be doing any building work on the extension today for the simple fact of it's banging it down with rain and blowing a gale so I don't want to be going up a ladder when it's like that do I so I'm going to leave you in peace okay but I've got a joke for you I'm going to tell you that now are you ready right this is the joke when I was younger I used to go to church and our vicar bought himself a brand new mountain bike and he only had it a couple of weeks and it's only a small village where I was from and everybody in the village went to church so he came to see me he says Ian I can't believe it somebody stole my mountain bike how good you're having me on he says no no somebody's stolen it's somebody from church it's got to be I said well I'll tell you what I says on Sunday when you do your service I want you to read out the Ten Commandments and as you're reading them out when you get to thy shall not steal then have a look round at everybody and if anybody looks a bit sheepish you know it's somebody who's took it he said that's an idea Ian that's a good idea so when we got to the service he was halfway through and he said I'm now going to say the Ten Commandments so he's reading through the commandments and then when he got to adultery he stopped and I thought this is weird and then at the end of the service when it was over I went up to him I says how come you stopped what what was the problem he says well when I was reading the Ten Commandments out when I got to, to adultery I remembered where I'd left my bike <laughs> right I'm gonna get off now so I shall see you again tomorrow and remember Dinky-doo!